Kia ora everyone and welcome back to Humankind. I've uh, just been lucky enough to finish a six hour live stream. My first full game of the full release version of Humankind and I have a few lessons that I've learned. Uh, a few takeaways that I wish I knew in the beginning and so I thought I'd just sit down with my microphone and you on the other side of a screen and discuss some takeaways. And hopefully you can gleam a few insights. Um, Everything from territories, what to do in the early game, and specifically the importance of that Neolithic era. Uh, also, a few things I learned about the AI, uh, the combat, which is by by and large pretty pretty dang good. Uh, also, a few other little things like character customization and pacing. So sit back and get comfy, and let's discuss my lessons from my first game with humankind. Uh, first and foremost. Uh, the Neolithic era, that's the very first era that you start in as a, you know, a, a scout, an explorer, hunting for food and scientific inquiries, those goody hut kind of discoveries, and trying to figure out where to put down your outposts, which will eventually turn into cities and home your empire. Uh, the thing that I learned the most, and this is probably the, like one of the two key takeaways of this video, and I'm putting it right at the front to save you some time, <laughs> is, um, is the fact that in the Neolithic era, you really, really have to do the land grab thing, okay? You have to get out there and start putting your outposts down. And I want you to think about outposts as temporary claims, not permanent cities. My mistake was I was scouting out the area, looking for the perfect territories that had more resources or better resources, that had better strategic positions, greater tile yields, maybe wonders. And what I wasn't focused on was actually just claiming as much land as I could so that I could then go back through later and choose which ones I wanted to be cities, maybe one or two territories that I didn't really care so much about and I didn't mind if they went to someone else, right? If you at least go out hard and fast, right? Level four lockdown style. You go in hard and fast, grab as much as you can, and then later you have the flexibility of saying, actually, I don't need that outpost, I can let that go. Or actually, I want those two over there, and I'm not so much worried about the two over on the left. You know, my point here is you'll have options if you go out and get territories, and if you don't, it's going to be difficult because then you're going to have to fight for them, okay? So my key takeaway for the territories and for the Neolithic era is to get out there and grab, grab, grab. Grab them quick, even if you don't think you want them. Uh, there's a subtle other thing here, and that's the importance of influence. Influence is king. You need influence to pace, place down your outposts and indeed capture those territories. So influence is key in the early game. And then I found as I moved through, of course, science, very important to get your technologies, but I found really that so long as I had gold and production, or actually gold and population, I should say, I was okay. You can basically fast track anything if you have enough gold and population. So gold and food was really key for me. So go out fast, grab your territories, influence is key to placing them. Oh, and also another thing, you should try and place them in sort of a, a contiguous um, shape, whether that's a, a circle fanning out from the center or a line, whatever it may be, it's cheaper if you claim connected territories. So don't do what I did, don't go running around trying to get the best ones. Just connect them in a line and get as much as you can. I'll cover a little bit more on that now in, in my second takeaway, which was the AI. Uh, I was really lucky. My live stream had way more viewers than normal. That's the release day hype of humankind for you, I guess. But it meant that I got to talk to a lot of people, a lot more than normal. And one thing that I heard a lot in chat was, man, I just got wrecked. People were coming into my chat saying, hey, Jumbo, you know, I just played this game. Uh, some people even on the lower difficulties than recommended, I played just on, on standard difficulty, but some people were playing on lower ones and still saying that they were getting wrecked. You might say, oh, well, they're just noobs, noobs get wrecked. But actually, I kind of feel like they had something, they had something there. My takeaway, and this is again an early impression, not backed up by data necessarily, but my impressions and from talking with others, but my takeaway with the AI was that while it's not overly competent in combat, and there were many times where it would send one unit into a fight where I had like, I had an army of 10 and they would just send one in and try and attack me, you know? So it, it wasn't overly competent in combat, but it was very good at what I've just discussed, that land grabbing. 
It's so good at land grabbing, and if you don't get good at it, you're gonna get left behind. Also, it's pretty good at infighting. Uh, I, I've played quite a few games of Humankind in the closed beta uh, period, and, and now at release, I've I've played two, actually. I played another one after the stream. Um, <laughs> and I have to say that, by and large, the AI is pretty good at infighting. I've always found, always, that there is at least one AI that swamps like two or three others. Um, and I don't know if that's just me. I'd be interested to know, actually, your thoughts. Do let me know in the comments below. What What's your impressions been of the AI? I think it's it's not particularly good at fighting, necessarily, but it's very good at playing the game and earning the fame. I do think... It's really actually quite good at that. Uh, perhaps it's a little weak at combat for where it should be, i.e. let's say you're playing normal difficulty. You're kind of fighting the combat strength of a lower difficulty, but the sort of competitiveness outside of combat, I'm talking fame and victory, land grabbing, so on and so forth, of a higher difficulty. That's my impression. Do let me know. Uh, next up, one of my key takeaways was combat. Combat system is really fun. I'm probably going to have to do a couple of other separate videos where I really do a deep dive into it. But my takeaway from it was that the ho the fact that, that, you know, you go into a fight with an army, right? Not just a couple of units, but an army, a solid force. It feels like armies from games like Total War, uh, if you're familiar with that franchise, rather than the sort of simple, you know, click and shooty sort of civilization style combat. Not that there's anything wrong with Civ, uh, I love Civ, but the combat in Humankind is really fantastic. You come in with these armies, the battle lines are drawn, there are rounds with the fighting, there are predictions, and you can instantly resolve it if you want, or you can place your units down, studying the geography, figuring out where you want them. You can also direct them in the battle over rounds of attacking and then defending, so not only do you uh, send them into the fight, but then you have to think, well, where are they left after I've sent them in? Are they vulnerable in the next round when the opponent is attacking back? It's a very interesting system. The armies feel, like I say, significant and powerful. And I'm keen to play with it more. I don't know if it's perfect, so please don't, don't take this as, as gospel. I'm not saying it's the best thing ever. But it's a really, really engaging system. It's, it's captured my interest, put it that way. A couple of other small things that were really fun that I had to share. First and foremost, character customization matters. And before you go into the game... Uh, maybe spend a little bit of time changing your color or whatever. I would recommend you create an avatar. And indeed, I've created one. And if you'd like to play as me, or kind of me, I couldn't quite get the face quite right. And it kind of looks like I'm wearing makeup and I couldn't figure out how to not wear makeup. <laughs> maybe I just have beautiful skin. Well, I, I don't. But maybe in humankind, I just have beautiful skin. I'm not sure. But either way, you can create your uh, avatars with personas and you can unlock uh, different personas, different attributes and behaviors. Uh, also some bonuses. Like my one's pretty good. You, you'll get bonus fame and bonus science if you play as me. So look out, everybody. But, <laughs> but no, the point is actually it's quite fun and you can upload it to games together and other people can download it and try it. There's about 200, there's about 25,000 or something of them on there already and it's only release day so pretty cool uh, there'll be a link in the description if you want to play as me or, or verse me for whatever godforsaken reason somebody asked in the chat so it's up there uh, a couple of other little things I, um, am, I haven't quite figured out the pacing yet I played on quick which was 150 turns I streamed for 6 hours so I'm not entirely sure how quick quick actually was uh, there's a blitz mode that is 75 turns which i just don't understand how seven errors could competently fit in 75 turns even on quick mode i found there wasn't really quite enough time to spend with the late uh, the later game errors and it wasn't just me falling behind necessarily although i definitely could have Definitely could have played a better game. Like I say, I've learned these lessons <laughs> for next time. Um, you know, so it wasn't necessarily my fault, but just overall, like, no one in the game made it to the contemporary era. Uh, sorry, that's a lie. One AI just made it, and I was one era star off. And that was it. Like, we didn't even get to play with the in-game stuff, and that was on quick. Well, what does Blitz look like? I don't know, but I'm going to stream it tomorrow, so we'll find out. Uh, and last but not least, 
one really fun little thing. If you zoom in, and thanks to the person who pointed this out to me in chat, if you zoom in on the tiny little people, the tiny little ones, not the units, but the tiny little ones that are running around, you can like direct them around with your mouse. It's a fun little throwaway thing, but I had a great laugh with it and maybe you will too. <laughs> uh, these would be my sort of early impressions and lessons from humankind. Uh, thanks very much for watching and maybe stick around and check out my live streams. I'll see you then.